Okay, my name is Rosemary Grutton. Um, I'm Canadian, but I live in California. I've lived in California for about four years. Um, I live in the East Bay of San Francisco. And uh, I'm a freelance editor. I've got two kids and uh, came to the UK to have a BMHR ceramic on metal hip resurfacing done by Mr. McMahon. I can't say enough about how caring everyone, everyone that I've encountered at the McMinn Center has been from, you know, Merrill Wellings to Pam Charles to um, the staff surgeons, you know, Chandra and Joseph have just been lovely, caring, competent, great. Uh, Mr. McMinn, kind of larger than life, lovely, lovely person. The thing that I notice the most is that there is a real sense of caring about the person. You're not just a patient, you're a person, a whole person. And if you feel that people care about you, um, personally, if I feel people care about me as a person, that's going to make the whole experience so much more positive. I think the thing that really hit me very quickly is that there was no pain whatsoever in my right hip area. It's like, how could that be gone? Because it's been, I've been living with it for so long, I don't know what it's like not to live with it. But I, I couldn't believe the next day they were already wanting me to start walking. And at first I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do that because, you know, I've been limping around for a long time. But it's amazing what you can do when you set your mind to it and you've got encouragement. So um, yeah, I did that. So I was walking the next day. So my concern with a total hip replacement was when I started looking into it was that there's a it's a lot more invasive as a surgery, so uh, a lot more of your bone, your natural bone, is going to be taken away. It seems like a bit of a one-shot deal, so if it doesn't work, all you're left with is a possibility of revision. And I, have a, I do have a sister who had a total hip replacement in her 20s and had a revision just a few years ago and has not been all that great for her. I guess the thing about um, the resurfacing as well is if the resurfacing doesn't work, at least you still can go to a hip replacement and it just seemed to have a lot of advantages and the people that were having the BHRs seemed to be young-ish in their 40s or 50s opposed to the 70s or 80s for a total hip replacement and seemed to be able to get active much more quickly and back to the things they were doing before. I knew that a number of U.S. people had left the U.S. to have this BHR done and I knew that part of the reason for that is because it only received FDA approval in 2006 so there aren't that many surgeons who have that much experience in the U.S. The other thing is, as soon as I, you know, made contact with Mr. Mittman's office, as soon as he came back and said the BMHR, well, no one in the U.S. does the BMHR, so no one's going to be able to do that for me anyway. And also, I mean, I had a real concern about experience. Because it's a technically difficult surgery, and it has the potential for some issues afterwards if it's not done right, it had to be done by from my perspective, by somebody who really knew what they were doing. And so, as I said, you know, the best, right? The other thing is I was pleasantly surprised at the cost because it's expensive to have surgery in the U.S. Even if you have insurance, even if your insurance covers things, they don't cover everything. And, you know, as soon as I saw uh, the, the cost to have it done in, in the U.K., I was I was actually shocked. So I was just, I couldn't believe, oh, I'm going to be in the hospital for a week, you're going to cover my meals, you're going to cover all of these different things, and if I'm lucky, my insurance will, will pick that up. So I was told that I can actually start swimming again in six weeks, and that's what I'm really looking forward to, getting back in the pool. You know, it's hot in California in the summer, so it will be really nice. And uh, three months from now, I can, just, you know, that's when I can, no canes, no crutches, nothing, it's just me and uh, I'm looking forward to doing absolutely everything that I used to do before. And obviously skiing is going to take a little longer, you know, some of the high impact things, not, not quite right away, but uh, tennis, when I get on the tennis court again, I will be so happy. You know, knowing that going forward, um, my life is going to change dramatically in a positive way. Um, I can't really get my head yet around the fact that that pain is gone now, that, um, I'm actually going to be able to go back and do those things again, and and that's that's incredible. And um, yeah, I've, I'm just really really impressed. I'm really really happy that I came and did this. It's it's a life changer for me.